good morning to one and all who are attended to this 2021 global edu conclave welcome to you all and this is mr kp prasad rao working as associate professor in the department of electrical and electronics engineering at pscmr college of engineering and technology vijayawada andhra pradesh india in this occasion i would like to present a keynote lecture on sustainable development goals on sustainable energy resources the predictable absorption of the fossil fuels the necessity of fighting against the global warming the awareness for the protection of the environment and the consideration of the sustainable development in energy policies put the renewable energies in the heart of strategic stake for the future of our planet now coming to the concept of energy the definition of energy is energy can neither be created nor can can be destroyed this that is it can be converted from one form to another form the following are the best examples to understand the energy and its conversion from one form to another form next the energy sources in nature are broadly classified into three categories based on availability older or newer non renewable or renewable the third category sources are also known as non sustainable and sustainable sources once we see these two words non sustainable sustainable sources we have two types of questions first one is what are non sustainable energy sources that is the sources available in nature like coal fossil fuels etc are utilizing the produced electrical energy but once utilize these sources available in nature the nature cannot reproduce it or takes a lot of time to reproduce it the second question is what are sustainable energy sources that is the sources available in nature like solar wind ocean energy etc are utilizing to produce electrical energy even though we are using these types of sources which are available in nature the nature can reproduce it and sustain for future generation also among the available energy sources solar energy wind energy have emerged the most impactful renewable energy resources which have the potential to replace conventional energy sources now coming to the installed power capacity in india like based on us energy information administration india central electricity authority survey based on this survey in 2011 the installed capacity to generate electrical energy by coal is 57 percentage out of 100 percentage gas produced 9 percentage diesel 1 percentage nuclear 2 percentage hydro 19 percentage and other renewables 12 percentage like this in 2016 the installed capacity to generate electrical energy by coal is 62 percentage out of 100 percentage gas 8 percentage diesel less than 1 percent nuclear 2 percent hydro 14 percent and an and other renewables 14 percentage if we observe between these two years the span is 5 years in this 5 years the coal utilization has increased to generate electrical energy from 57 to 62 at the same time the utilization of renewable energies has increased to generate electrical energy from 12% to 14% similarly coming to 2020 the coal utilization is 55% out of 100% and it, and it is reduced Fifty-five percentage from the year two thousand sixteen. Similarly, gas produced seven percentage, diesel greater than one percent, nuclear two percent, hydro twelve percent, and other renewables are twenty-four percent. If we observe between two thousand sixteen and twenty twenty, 
utilization of sources like coal and renewables are drastically changed. That is, coal utilization is reduced from 62 to 55 percent. At the same time, the utilization of renewable energy sources are increased from 14 percent to 24 percent with the span of 4 years of duration. Like this, there will be a drastical change in India utilizing the renewable energy sources by 2030. Utilization of coal is more in India to produce electrical energy. Due to this utilization of coal, scarcity of coal has been taken in India past 20 decades. Mostly in past 10 decades. So, India has been purchased the coal from other countries and it will be like this. Coal imports from other countries by India like in 2012, India purchased the coal from Indonesia is 55% out of 100%, from Australia 23%, from South Africa 14% and from other countries it is 8%. Similarly, in 2015, India purchased the coal from Indonesia is 52% out of 100%, from Australia 23%, from South Africa 17% and from other countries 8%. Whereas in 2019, India purchased the coal from Indonesia is 49% out of 100%, from Australia 20%, from South Africa 16%, United States 4%, from Russia 3% and from other countries it is 8%. At the same time, the United Nations are World Trade Organization International Trade Center has been identified the total installed capacity of renewables in India by the end of the year 2018 February that is the total installed capacity in India by using renewable energy sources in is 62,847 megawatt at the end of February 2018 and this are like in the form of hydropower shared the 7% out of 100% of electrical power like 4,418 megawatt out of 62,847 megawatt. Similarly, wind power is shared the 52% of electrical power like 32,849 megawatt out of 62,847 megawatt. Biopower is 14% of electrical power like 8,528 megawatt out of 62,847 megawatt. And finally, solar power is shared 27% like 17,052 megawatt out of 62,847 megawatt of electric power. In the similar way, the world will be projected the energy mixed by the year 2035 as that is projected world energy mix by 2035 will be as oil sources 29%, coal 27%, gas 23%, renewables 14% and nuclear 7% out of 100% of electric power will be generated and shared. And especially in India by 2030, 30% of renewable energy can achieve based on the energy and resource institution survey in the year 2019, February 14 like in the form of unit price and this can be analyzed by considering the non pit head coal on shore wind and ground mounted solar pv system as an example on x axis and unit price in the form of rupees per kilowatt hour on y axis once we clearly observe the unit price that is by using non pit head coal the unit price is 5 rupees per kilowatt hour in the year of 2018 and the same 
unit price will be increased to 7 rupees per kilowatt hour by the year 2030. It means that the expensive is more while using the coal to utilize in the form of electrical power with respect to the consumers as well as utilities. In similar way, the unit price is 2.8 rupees per kilowatt hour and it is reduced to 2.6 rupees per kilowatt hour while using the wind energy to utilize in the form of electrical power with respect to consumers as well as utilities from 2018 to 2030. Whereas in the same way, the unit price will come down by using the solar PV system. This analysis tells us utilizing the sustainable sources to generate and to utilize the electrical power by the end of 2030. With this slide, I am going to wind up this lecture with a slogan like Reduce, Reuse, Recycle is widely used to raise awareness against the use of non-renewable sources and energy like reduce consumption of non-renewables, reuse manufactured products to sustain the resources, recycle raw materials for reducing the global warming effect. With the above slogan, we can, we can save energy utilization and can save earth against the global warming effect. This will happen because of electrical engineers like developing the electrical vehicles instead of present internal combustion engines and produce electrical energy by utilizing the renewables or sustainable sources like wind, solar, geothermal, etc. in form of effectively. So, in this platform, I am requesting you to cooperate the engineering colleges and universities to provide a better education to get good jobs in this electrical engineering area. So finally, I would like to thank the organizers for giving this opportunity. Thank you one and all. Thank you.